This Mother's Day, we want to share an incredible story of strength from a mom who put her heart on the line. And in this News 5 exclusive, we hear from the team at the Cleveland Clinic who helped save her and her baby's life. Katie Stanley had all the excitement and nerves that come from being a first time mom, plus a little extra. We kind of both looked at each other and said, why didn't anyone tell us? This was going to happen before we got pregnant. You see, in 2017, Katie found she had two heart defects, a bicuspid aortic valve and an aortic aneurysm. With all the stresses pregnancy puts on the body, doctors knew her heart would be working overtime. And that was the point that Jake and I kind of sat down and took in a lot more information than we were ready for. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was the, the cardiologist here at Virginia our <laughs> Hospital was definitely a little bit that they were fairly alarmed. The couple was told they needed to have the baby as soon as possible. That was in January 2020. His due date wasn't until late March. And from that point, we were kind of split between the OBs wanted us to keep the baby in as long as possible for his health, but the cardiologist here kind of thought the sooner that he gets out, the safer that I would be. So Katie and Jacob made the decision to travel from Virginia to the Cleveland Clinic for close monitoring and eventual surgeries. They met with Dr. Joanna Gobriel, the director of adult congenital heart disease at the Cleveland Clinic. It's a great blessing that she went through everything very well. There were no issues. Baby Lawrence was born on March 2nd in an operating room surrounded by a massive team of clinic doctors and nurses. It takes a big team to do this, right? So with Katie, we had cardiothoracic surgery and the entire OR staff with the nurses and the techs. We had the uh, OB doctors, we had the uh, neonatal doctors, we had the adult congenital heart disease doctors, you had the anesthesia doctors. So that's like a big, big village essentially taking care of Katie to make sure that her and the baby are perfectly safe. And safe they were. But a few weeks later, on March 20th, 2020, Katie went into surgery once again, this time for her heart. She left her husband and family in the waiting room, not knowing that in the hours she was in surgery, the Cleveland Clinic would shut down due to the COVID pandemic and they would all be asked to leave. I imagine it was pretty hard for her to wake up and be like, not really have any loved ones there. Still, despite the whirlwind of ups and downs, the surgery went really well and Katie, a teacher, spent months recovering with her family and baby Lawrence right by her side. So I've been spending every day with him and I love it. I love it a lot. <laughs> and she knows that. Yeah. It was, I think being a mom is always one of my dreams. And now that I got to live that and be with him every day, I want to continue doing that.